And now, Car Shield presents the 7th Annual Broad GM Theater. Hello everyone, BE here, and welcome to Broad GM Theater 7 Showdown. And we got people, last year was supposed to be Broad GM Theater 6 at Caesar Palace, but coronavirus cancelled everything. So this is night 1, or Broad GM Theater 7 Showdown, but the first night won't be Showdown, it's on the second day, so here's your presenters, Eric Medina, and Liz Quintana. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to see all of your faces again, I know that we didn't do this kind of theme last year, because of the pandemic and the uncertain times we lived in, but that's over. We are very happy and grateful that things are going back to normal slowly but surely. This year is gonna be a heck of a fun time, because, last year here is what we did instead. Oh Eric, when you come out of the toilet, can you wash my back and my stinky but beautiful legs? Coming Liz. Liz, will you stop bringing this up? Whoops. Sorry Eric. Apologize accepted. Okay, so this year, we won't present the clips this time, cause it will be presented by someone else. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, Moki Perez. So Moki, tell us about yourself. I'm glad you asked this Kyle, I'm here to present a clip about my childhood, and how it got started. Here is my short clip about going back to Crossing Family. Wow, I definitely, remember this place, this is where I grew up, here with Crossing Family. It started when I was born, my dad mentioned that he my mom, and their other parents, their friends purchased a basement here. This was our house. I guess you all wanted to see my past moment. Let's go. Wow, this place that gives me a ton of memories, except for those domestic violence episodes. They scared me as a child. I just wish we could all get along, but my parents seem to hate Eric a lot, and that's mean, cause I love Eric. We have could've been married, but it won't happen. Well nothing here, but a kitchen, this is where Eric is not allowed to pass here, cause my room is on the right of your cameras. Why didn't they clear this half up, my old room? Here it is ladies and gentlemen, my old room, a Jesse McCartney poster. Yeah I was a huge fan of Jesse, his music touched me a lot, I had a huge crush on him, but this room. My old TV. My dad wouldn't get me one cause he only said, only one TV, but why does Eric have one, so my mom is serene that she did get me one. Eric? Is that you? You wanna come over to the house we grew up in? Sure, on my way. Oh this is sweet, I get to see my old buddy slash friend slash ex-boyfriend maybe Eric again, I feel like I'm gonna wet myself, JK. Moki? It couldn't be you, us. The house we grew up in, you son of a bitch. Oh Eric, it's so happy to see you again. Moki, I miss being here with you, how long has it been? Like almost 30 years, we were babies, kids, and buddies, lovable buddies. Wouldn't it be nice to sing Lale once again here? Yeah, I think so too. Well I guess that sounds cool with me. Moki, I don't think this is a good idea on playing piano here. There won't be a problem. But what if anyone notices like your parents are here? They wouldn't like that. There's no need to babble on my shoes, my friend. This is my piano. Moki! Hi, Poppy. Eric, get out of here. ¿Qué estás haciendo? I'm in big trouble already. Moki, estás jugando la teclado, y nosotras te avisamos. Moki, por favor, no me eches la enemiga. No, papi, no me pega. Entonces tú necesitas contrar. No, no puedo. No puedo. Yo no puedo. No me hagas lastimas. No puedo. Okay, I don't want to hear any more about this. Is this why your song Lele got you popular? I don't think so. I need a beer. You can see why my dad drinks a lot, cause of his anger. Well, Moki, that's past now. Even though that where your dad is, 
I don't know what you're going to do with your life. I wish things go good instead of my parents having a domestic abuse. Don't worry anymore, those domestic violence days are over. We all wish we were normal, and we all have good days every day. Last year, we would have celebrated 25-year reunion, but COVID ruined it, so we did it today, and this is the day, to have a reunion, with families, and friends. We will never forget our father, but I can't be happy that my dad is taken away from us. Moki's father passed away in 2018, heart attack, we are very sorry. Rodrigo Perez will never be forgotten. We'll see you later on our reunion special. So ladies and gentlemen, Moki is about to have her reunion for her show Crossing Family. It's kinda sad to see that we have families out there. Back to Eric. Alright, summer is finally here, since it's always a hot day here in Las Vegas. Liz, what happened in the summer days? I'm glad you asked that. Last summer my house went out of power many times cause of that thunderstorm. Yeah, that was bad that I had to miss an episode of Monday Night Raw cause of that tornado warning. I was scared. Let's go on to Rhea Ripley. Rhea how are you today? Oh hey Eric, I have a short film coming up. It's called, Rhea's Space Mine. It's a fight club. Care to join? Well I'm here Rhea, but I'll be up there. Cause we love to see your short film. How are you doing up there? Okay, thanks. Rhea out. Rhea Ripley coming soon. Let's go over to little boy. Oh little boy you there. Yep. That's me. I was wondering where the good deeds are, so this next film is called, Medieval Times in Mind. Hello my fellow friends, it is I, Maranova, and I will be telling you a story about how Eric Medina has rescued Princess Elizabeth Quintana from the big mean old monster. Let's begin now, we shall we? Oh Marvelous Studios, what brings you here and now to Medieval Times of Grace? Well Prince, me and our friends are here to watch the show, which houses are we in? You Sir Paul McCartney, are in Huffle Pizza Puff. How, how much of house rules like horse and bones? That is disgusting. I'm sorry, but rules are rules. Welcome to Medieval Times, I'll be your serving lunch Melinda. Can I get you something from the barkeep? Dust Dust have thou a mug of ale for me and me mate. He has been pitched in a battle for a fortnight, and has a king's thirst for frosty brew the sow might have for dust. So you're saying, you want a dragon's blood, or Pepsi? I'll have your finest Pepsi my lady. Now you need a bob while you... Billy Bob Tanley, Moki Perez? What the fuck? You didn't tell me that Billy Bob Stanley was here. BBT, we need that spot. Trying to fucking take over your spot. Well that spot should have been mine, and we're your crown. Bob while you. I wanted to be a Ravenclaw, but Billy Bob said that Ravenclaw is for weeaboos. Huzzah, <laughs> <laughs> for some radio, and Biggie fights, from the night. Wow, this is amazing. All right, we got our first win. If I would be the good one, I would fight back. Three, two, one, Claymore, right to the chin. Who's next? Raven Claw or Slash Rain, Viking Raider. And free Cornish game hand for everybody. Cornish game hand, my favorite. Well, we're waiting. All right, let's go. Okay, intensive battle of the riots began with Hufflepuff right now. Well, there goes the bet. That's not good. It appears that Slytherin has won medieval times, but don't worry. You're more than welcome to come back in a year or a month, whichever comes first. When you're watching Broad GM Theater, this is the first ever two-parter of the show, and we just wanted to have this dream come true, like making this episode trend on Twitter. It may take some time, but time always flies by, so let's make sure that next year we could get into Twitter, 
Anyways, here is Kenzie Becklin, next. All right, so what is your story about Ken's? My name is Kenzie Becklin, and this is my story about the Don and the Key. You know, donkey. All right, tell us more about this Don Key thingy. Uh, yeah, I like this dude buying a truckload of Nintendo Power magazines looking for Tony's Pizza coupons. All right, let's take a look at it. Hello, I am Ruby. It is just sad seeing people without food, knowing that they need something to live for. You wanna be healthy and not poor? Mall Organic is the right thing for you. Yesterday's fresh milk, today's eggs, tomorrow's cottage cheese. So let's all be healthy people, and get the food we want. I'm Ruby Nazario. Mall Organic, a brighter ingestion, and a better life. Okay ladies and gentlemen, now we're going over to Jack Dean with his share of the next idea. Jack? So I got this segment, it's called Donkey. I don't know what it is, I just made it for real, man. And it takes place in a mansion. Baby, you know about the autumn When the leaves are falling down yeah. Hello there. You must be wondering why I'm here. I am Don Capo. Okay, Mr. Nice Guy. What's up and you must be? Hey, my name is Don Elado Bones. All right. Cause I heard that my friend is getting married, and what about our friends? Liz. Eric. This big Don will be meeting you at the crocodile house. Hello Barkeep, we would like to see the donkey. Hilarious go on beat it. We would like to. There's nobody named donkey here. Now get out of here. I'm sorry, is anybody looking for me? Who are you? And why is your mustache on the side? I am, the Don Key. Don Key makes people angry, like Dr. Shudder. Okay Mr. Key, but what can we do? Do we get our friends? Not necessarily, but we're getting it though. So we thank you here for coming to our party here at the mansion. We actually want to be nice to you folks, as a treat. We have lots of money, we're nice Dons, not gangsters. Nah, shit, you did something fuck up last time. Alright, fine. No, it was my cousin. He wanted some juicy fruit because he was dressed up as a pinata. You the Don? That's me. <coughs> Does not like it when you keep telling him his name. His name is Donkey. Oh my god, my apologies. Oh, look at this. New juicy fruit strappleberry. <coughs> 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 Hey. Shh, don't talk. Look, now you need to listen to me. We're donkeys and we're kind of obsessed with juicy fruit. Please don't eat me. I've seen you and you're just a play. It's Ashley's 10th birthday. I know, I know. Look, I quit chewing juicy fruit because it's just making it fun and worse. Moki, you can come out now. Don Key has settled down. Plus, Don Key has made a Baskin Robbins banana ears. Don Key, what does the key mean? The key actually means the key to the city and a mind of becoming a future president. Hey, Miss Kinsey, nice to meet you. I didn't think that having juicy fruit was such a good taste. Yeah, my tail's gone because the kid in the party ripped my tail when I was about to leave. I feel so sorry for you. Here is some singing going on. First one from Broad GM Theater. It's very short though. And now, Broad GM Theater proudly presents Broad Music, hosted by Larry the Cucumber. Donald Duck is here to sing, Never Gonna Give You Up. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and never gonna show you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna get you okay, I'm proud of you.
No way, Dawn Bell is the best show. Boy? Nuh-uh, I go with Artie Blaze, you wanna prove why you slammed your car into me just to call me out? To the moon, Mary. To the moon? My name is not Mary. You don't want to hear people arguing. Welcome to Mall Mode Premiere. Alright, so this final segment of the night will be called Hanging Out with Friends, Erica Dawson. Erica? What's up, Kimusabi? I'm just making sure that you're doing okay though, is I, Erica Dawson, tells you that, hanging out with friends, you miss them. Hope you reunite, he to go. I wonder how the boys are doing today. Walking, walking, and walking. Say where are we going? Now say we're going to that office store. I see what you did this Kimosabi. Office store here we go. Well you see here, we got something that will make things more complicated. Like getting medicated. When I got kicked out of that infomercials for letting Vince Offer get into the business. You are out far. Do not shine your face at the Informational Studios again. What did I do to deserve this? I Anthony Sullivan here. I listened to Billy if I were you. Shut up, sorry now. You will kill your family, ma. You kill your son will kill your infant daughter. I don't have a family. Are you wasted? Shut that motherfucker! Up! That was just a cutaway gag, so that won't happen. Benny Ray's is just bad. This has been a message from the word of Larry of Letter Church in Men's College Fund. Her mind is a terrible thing to waste. Okay, so when is the last time you got supplies? Like I got the chew pouch thingy. It was awkward. Some dude told a weeaboo kid to lift while recording. Get the damn weeaboo trailer. I think Kenzie does want this for her birthday. A spinning chair. Good. Let's make an episode about it. I'm gonna get ran from Office Max because they don't have any guns here. Okay. There will be some deleted and alternate scenes on altogether. We are going to pick up the next ones on the second part, and we'll see what happens next time. This episode is a pre-show, but it will air regularly soon. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching this episode. Good night, and stay safe. Thank <music> you.